In these problems, we are evaluating algebraic expressions. And uh, remember, when we do that, we take these numbers they're giving us and plug them in in place of the letters. The only trick with these is that we have some exponents, so we'll have to be a little careful about that. Again, if you think of these numbers as having parentheses around them, it will help a lot in keeping the signs uh, straight, especially when we start raising things to powers. So let's go ahead and start this. Uh, here we have s times t times u to the third. So let's just plug in these values. s is 2, t is negative 4, and then we have u, which is 3, but u is raised to the third power. So there we've made our substitutions. Now we're going to start calculating this. The first thing I'm going to do is raise this 3 to the third power. We'll start with the exponents. So 3 to the third power is 27. And then we have a negative 4, and we have 2. And at this point, I'd probably just grab a calculator and multiply 2 times negative 4 times 27. Because there's one negative sign in this multiplication problem, I know the answer is going to be a negative number. And I think that comes out to be 216. You may want to check that. Let's try another. Here, we just have one variable. j is 2. So let's go ahead and plug that in. First, we have j, which is 2 to the third power, then a minus sign, and then we have j to the fourth, and a minus sign, and j to the second. Now we can do our work with the exponents. 2 to the third power, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. And we have a minus sign. 2 to the fourth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16. And then we have a minus sign, and then 2 to the second power is 4. So we, ha we have 8 minus 16, that's going to be a negative 8 minus 4, that should be a negative 12. All right, one more. This one is uh, much more tricky, but again, if you take it step by step, there's nothing we can't figure out here. So again, I'm going to use parentheses around our values for h and g, and then just start rewriting this problem. So I start with a negative sign. Then I have g, which is negative 3. And then I have to raise that to the third power. Then I have h, which is negative 4, well, a plus sign, and then h, which is negative 4. And then I set a parentheses, so I'll leave some space here. And inside we have g minus h, so that's negative 3 minus negative 4. And we have a plus sign. And then absolute value symbol. And inside the absolute value symbol, we have h minus g, so that's negative 4 minus negative 3. All right, so looks fairly complex, but let's take this a piece at a time. I think I'm going to start with what's in the absolute value sign here. We have negative 4 minus a negative 3. Well, minus a negative is just like plus. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, but then we take the absolute value of this, that turns any negative number into a positive, so that's just 1. So let me write the rest of the problem here. We've got a plus sign, and actually, let's figure out what's inside these parentheses. So I have negative 3 minus a negative 4, so that's like plus. So negative 3 plus 4, so that is 1. So this whole chunk just becomes 1. I'll put that in parentheses. And we have our negative 4 in parentheses, our plus sign, and a negative negative 3 cubed. Okay, so that's come down to, to something a little simpler. Let's deal with this exponent. Um, what is negative 3 cubed? Well, when you raise a negative number to an odd power, like 1 or 3 or 5, uh, it, the result stays negative. So inside these parentheses, we're going to have a negative number. And 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So a negative 3 cubed is negative 27. We have this negative sign still hanging out here. And we have a plus sign, and then we have negative 4 times 1. And then don't forget this plus 1 straggling over here. All right, we're almost there. Now I have a negative, negative 27. That's a positive 27. And then plus negative 4 times 1. So that's a plus a negative 4. That's simply minus 4, and then plus 1. Aha, so 27 minus 4 is 23, plus 1. 24. And that is some work with evaluating algebraic ex expressions that have exponents.